Welcome, everybody. My reaction to it? Yeah, just what I haven't really got a reaction. It focuses pretty much on what we do, but pretty consistent with what else we've seen at the tournament. Oh, we've got a lot. We've got a lot. We're thinking about our own game at the moment. So it's like I said, it's a it's a decision that's pretty consistent. Yeah, look, we're, to be honest, we're happy with whoever we get. And so at this stage of the tournament, I, I, I'm sure World Rugby's worked hard to get the referees that they believe are best suited for the, the stage of the, of the knockout. So, um, no, it's, uh, it's neither good or bad. But it, look, he's obviously a great ref, so I'm sure he'll be looking forward to the occasion. You have to ask Andy that. I'm asking you as your stats coach. I'm telling you, you can ask Andy that. I mean, it's um, he just does a job based on what he sees, and and we do a job based on what we see. So. But you just have to ask him that. We're just going to play whatever we see. No, not really. It's um, look, they've got some, they've got some great midfielders, and and he's one of them, and and got Henshaw, Ringrose, Farrell. They've got they've got a number of really good players. So, they they and their their role definition is is, is pretty strong. So whoever plays, he's going to play well. Catch them. You know, like it's, you know, it's really if, um, you know, they've got they've got some some weapons to their arsenal, and and it's like no other game, like like any other game, I should say, really. If uh, so, we'll work on our high ball catches, which we we would for any team that's going to kick it there. But you know, clearly that's a something that's worked well for them, um, and. Uh, and we've just got to make sure we're, we're really proficient in that area, which, I'm, you know, we're working hard in that area, and I'm sure we will be. When you were saying uh, earlier in the tournament that the old back was winning tricks off their sleeves, they just executed better than everybody else. Do you think Joel Schmidt may have a trick off his sleeves and he's going to more than that for this weekend? So I just repeat what I said earlier, that we were better than anyone else. I'm not sure no, I ever said that. You said that you didn't have any tricks off your sleeves, that you just kind of lay all your cards on the table. Uh, does Joel Schmidt have something else? Look, I don't mean to be rude, but you're asking me to guess what another coach is thinking. So, I mean, really, you've got to ask him. We're assuming that, based on past behaviour, that they'll come out with a plan that they think is good enough to beat us. So, will that involve some special plays? Probably. Yeah, it's a it's a really good question because it's it's where you go when you're under pressure, isn't it? As and, and that's the that's the exciting part about this part of the tournament is um, uh, it's we, we still want to be confident enough to play what we, the pitches that we see and and trust the guys to execute and make decisions and um, but you know sometimes pressure can do funny things to people and and you can eliminate all the risk out of your game so. That's the balance. That, that's the exciting part about knockouts. It's about getting your players re really clear about if we see pitches, are they allowed to execute? Yes, they are. And it's certainly something that we want to continue doing on our behalf. Japan kicked out heavily 12 times against uh, Scotland. And Scotland also didn't kick a lot for you in uh, the first half. Uh, do you think that there's something to be taken from that? Because there's a lot of talk about box kicks and stuff. Are teams that are not kicking doing better in this tournament? Yeah, look, I think it's. Oh, I don't think there's one tactic that's that's good or bad. I think it's how you use it in in terms of during the game. But certainly, um, you know, we we've got a, a a do or die game against Ireland. They they are a high retention team, so they like to hold the ball, and uh, and and they'll use the kick when when they feel they're under pressure or they can, or they sense weakness. So, um, you know, we're not expecting a 
a barrage of kicking. We're expecting a team that that will want to hold the ball and and a lot of rucks and a, and a lot of tackles. So that's that's their style. Um, and you know we've got to just like I said earlier, we've just got to prepare for what we see on Saturday and, and go and do what we need to do. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, pretty good, really. I mean, a lot's been made of um, their performance against against Japan, and and or, or I think um, if you flip that over, you'd probably got to really pat Japan on the back for that game. I thought they played really, really well. But I think if you look at, you know, like Japan beat Scotland by seven, and that's a great win. But Ireland, Ireland were were pretty ruthless against Scotland and, and really put them away when they needed to, and and they looked good against Samoa with with fourteen men. So. They'll, they'll, I'm pretty sure they'll be uh, primed and ready. No, not really. I think, um, look how you use the past as interest and you can you gather information from, from last wins and, and, and losses, but really it's, it's about not going in with too many assumptions and just um, seeing what turns up and, and reacting accordingly, but you know they're, they're a quality team. We know that, and they've got some. They're very experienced, um, but so are we. And we just got to go in and and play with the cards we've been dealt with this week, and and get excited about that. Which you know we're we're working hard on that, on on just preparing ourselves. We, we've had a sort of a week off in terms of game time, and and the guys are are really excited about it. Yeah, Yep, got 31 foot players, and training was great, thanks. Did you see kind of the edge? Did you think that you might see on the first opportunity? Yep, it's, um, it depends how you, de how you define edge. You know, like it's, um, oh, I'm, not, I'm not sure you would have seen a lot different if, you were, if we allowed you guys to sit there and watch the whole lot. Um, but there's a, the concentration's huge, the... the the, the the focus on, on the details huge and that's just that's how we go about it and really look it's a it's a big game but you, you play a lot of big games in this sport and and we've learnt that we just we've got to go about the things the way we go about things at, at the pace we need to and and build for you know build for that whistle when it blows off on, on Saturday. Look, to be honest, it hasn't. You know, like I, I think um, uh, those sort of things you, you prepare for years ago in terms of there's always been yellow cards, there's always been red cards. And um, so, yes, there are more in this tournament. Um, that was well signalled early. And, um, you know, we haven't spent all our time and effort coming up with multiple plans about what to do in that situation. We, we just want to go and play rugby, but, and the focus has been on being technically as good as we can possibly be in the areas that we can control. So, um, and then when, if you do go down a man, as we saw in, was it Namibia game, you know, you, you just react and, and make the decisions accordingly based on, on, on the position of that player. Do you have any other large audience that uh, missed the last episode of the Irish TV rebounding? How would you explain the reason of the I can't remember it. No, that's not true. Um, you have to come. You have to ask me that. This is the one in November. How do I explain it? Oh, we just got beat by a good Irish team, and you know, like I said, it's um, it's that, that there was a different different time, different place. Um, is it relevant? Perhaps we learnt some stuff. They would have learnt some stuff. So. Uh, we actually don't get stuck too much in the past. It's more about the excitement of, of the challenge that's in front of us. I mean, this is a, a World Cup knockout game. And it's actually about what happens this week, not what's happened the last two years. Ian, do you feel better prepared yourself heading into this quarterfinal than maybe what you did your first experience four years ago? Mm. Yeah, look, uh, I don't know. Ask me that Saturday night. But... All, all I know is that th these are the weeks that you want. You know, this is the this is the type of week that that we've been preparing for for a long, long time, and and we we simulate it. We we have a lot of big tests, and when we know everyone comes for us every time we play. But 
the, the, these are the things that um, this is where you really test yourself against a great team on, on the big stage. And so, are we better prepared than four years ago? I, I think we're 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 as we're as we're trying to prepare as well as we can for this group. You know, I think four years ago is different, and that's for coaches as well. Oh, I guess so. I, I guess you 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 acclimatise as a coach, but um, it doesn't change the fact that uh, you know you, um, that that Saturday is a, is a big stage, and you know that. And so, and what you do is you learn over time to just to trust what you do and and to and to do it and build build the week the way that we we are confident that we can build a week. Uh, I'm actually the attack coach. You have to, I should have brought the defence coach over here. But um, no, no, look, it's you, you can say everyone like every team's got their strengths and weaknesses. We know we know Johnny's really you know Sexton's important to their their team, and we know that a lot of the ball does go through his hands. So that's that's clear and obvious. I think everyone knows that. But look, they're, they're a smart rugby team, and they've proven that. Um, and they've proven that, and people can say what they like about their, their attacking style, defensive style, but they're efficient and, and they do it well. And, and so we're, that's what kind of makes this really exciting for us, because we're playing a team that knows how to play, and it's a great, you know, what, what greater challenge could you have?